Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover how to prove the trigonometric identities. In one of my last videos, I have showed you how to get all these ratios um, from this right angle triangle. I had uh, Pythagoras theorem b square, hypo square equal to sum of other two sides of square, and so katoa, meaning how can we get sine theta, one angle, uh, expressed in the ratio of two sides of the triangle and cosine theta and tan theta and then these are other of the trigonometric identities um, uh, ratios you can say that one by sine theta that means reciprocal of cosec theta equal to sine theta or one by sine theta equal to cosec theta one by cos theta equal to sec theta one by tan theta equal to cot theta tan theta equal to ratio of two uh, angles sine theta by cos theta cot theta being the reciprocal of tan theta it's opposite of that cos theta by sine theta and then i had proved this sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one regardless the value of theta it's always if they are equal and then sine square theta plus cos square theta always give gonna give us a one or in this case uh, sec square theta minus tan square theta always gonna give me one and in this case cosec square theta minus cot square theta is always going to give me one okay so that's that what i'm going to do today is uh, i'm going to use this book new additional mathematics uh, written by ho su thong and kornaya kyong and i'm going to prove some of the trigonometric identities from exercise 11.1 from question number 8 to 25. let's start now first question question number eight it's saying that um, one plus cos x divided by 1 plus sec x is identical to cos x. Now this sign, it almost like equal sign, but in equal sign, you know that there are two horizontal bars and over here we have three horizontal bars. What does this symbol means? That uh, I hope you remember uh, cosine and uh, yeah, congruent and similar triangles. What they are co cosine and congruent similar uh, triangles means uh, we, we're going to talk about congruent uh, triangles a b c and p q r if triangle a b c is congruent to triangle p q r that actually means angle a b equal uh, side a b equal to side p q side b c of this triangle equal to side q r and side a b of this triangle uh, P, Q, P, R are equal, angle A equal to angle P, corresponding angles, angle B equal to angle Q, angle C equal to R. So what this congruent means that every corresponding sides and every corresponding angles are equal to each other. Usually we don't bring anything from left hand side to right hand side or right hand side to left hand side in this particular case whenever identical is given. Uh, what do we do? We just equate the coefficient. This, this uh, side's coefficient equal to this side's coefficient. Now, let's prove this one, okay? I'm going to start from left-hand side. Most of the cases, we're going to use left-hand side to come to right-hand side. And some really rare cases, you have to do left-hand side and come uh, to a distance, a uh, few steps. And then from right-hand side, if you come to the same position, then you can prove that this side equal to that side. LHS means left hand side. So I'm going to work with this 1 plus cos x, 1 plus sec x. Now, a few things over here. If you have these ratios, uh, let's say cos x, say cot, uh, cotangent, um, cos x and sec x, it's uh, most of the time really easy and convenient, convenient way if you just change it to 1 by sine and theta and sec theta for sec theta, 1 by cos theta. And tan theta, uh, uh, if you, if you, if you uh, write down tan theta 1 by cot theta or cot theta 1 by tan theta, it doesn't help that much. But if you go sine theta by cos theta, it does help. But this is not uh, no guarantee, but you can try, keep trying and see what, what is uh, the uh, deal over here and what is uh, effective. 1 plus, in this case, I'm going to change this sec theta to 1 by cos theta. Now, what can I do on the top? The numerator remains same, 1 by 1 plus cos x. I haven't changed that. But here, there is denominator 1. So, LCM of 1 and cos x is 
cos x. Now this multiply over here I got cos x plus cos x cos x 1, 1 times 1 is 1. I hope you remember this. Then from here I'm coming to this side. Then 1 plus cos x, this one. And this is 1 plus cos x. In the denominator I have cos x plus 1 divided by cos x. And rule by uh, fraction, when I multiply that, this is divide, but when I multiply that, uh, denominator's denominator becomes the numerator over here and that comes uh, cos x plus 1 I can write down 1 plus cos x and then there is 1 I can cancel this and this out because this is in the numerator and this is in the denominator and they are related in some multiplication sign so that's going to be cos x and look from working this side I came to this side right hand side so you can write down right hand side RHS and then you can write down proved okay that's question number eight okay let's do question number nine what question number nine says nine says that one minus two sine square x so question number nine one minus two sine square x is identical to two cos square x minus one now Let's go back to this one. Okay, before that, let me write down left hand side. Left hand side equal to one minus two sine square x. Now, if I, if I compare left hand side, right hand side, I don't have any sine square here. All I have is cos square. Now, one of the trigonometry identity says sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. So, instead of sine square, I can write down I can write down this sine square. Uh, in terms of cos square, just sine square theta, I can replace that by 1 minus cos square theta. So that's what I'm going to do. 1 minus 2, I'm going to put this one in the bracket, sine square x, and that's sine square x. I'm going to I'm gonna go over here. Sine square theta, it can be written as equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So over here, I'm going to write down 1 minus cos square x, not theta in this case, x. Now, when I take the bracket off, this multiplies with this. Minus plus, there is a plus in front of it. So, plus minus or minus plus minus. 2 times 1 is 2. Then minus minus plus, And this is 2 cos square x. Now, I can write down this is up front. 2 cos square x. And 1 minus, there is a positive sign in front of it. Plus 1 minus 2, that's going to give me minus 1. And if I look closely, they are equal. So equal to right hand side and then always write down root. Okay, that was question number nine. Let's do question number 10. Now question number 10 says uh, one minus one minus then I have cos square x on the numerator cos square x divided by one plus sine x one plus sine x and identical to sin x identical to sin x again i compare and i see there is uh, no cos, cos square x so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this change this cos square x to sin square sin square x or uh, in terms of sin so 1 minus again now cos square sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so cos square can be written as cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sine square theta. That's what I'm going to do. Now on the top, instead of cos square theta, I can write down 1 minus sine square x. And below here, down here, is 1 plus sine x. This is actually left hand side. Left hand side equal to. Now 1 remains as it is. This can be written. 1 can be written as 1 square. If I do that, this numerator becomes in the format of a square minus b square. That means I can write down a plus b, a minus b. When is that? Then it's going to be 1 plus sine x, 1 minus sine x, and 1 plus sine x. I can cross this two out because they are uh, numerator and denominator and there is a multiplication sign in between. So 1 minus is going to be 1 minus sine x, taking the bracket off, minus 1, minus minus plus sine x, and this, this cross out, and I end up with sine x, 
and that's my right hand side so that's right hand side okay and let's do 11 question number 11 says cot x plus tan x so cot x plus tan x is identical to cosec x sec x cosec x into sec x so again 11 cot x plus tan x identical to cosec x sec x so again left hand side left hand side i can write down cot x plus tan x okay now in this case remember what did i tell you if you have sine uh, tan and cot it's always better to change this to, to uh, if it's tan then sine theta by cos theta if it's cot cos theta by sine theta i have both and that's what i'm gonna do cot can be written as cos x by sine x plus tan x can be written as sine x by cos x now lcm sine x cos x to different base so it's gonna be sine x into cos x if i divide this denominator uh, if i divide this denominator by this sine sine cross out so cos now this cos x this cos x multiply i end up with cos square x same thing over here if i divide this by this denominator cos cos cancel out i have sine and this is going to be plus sine square x look cos square x plus sine square x it's other way written sine square theta plus cos square theta it can be replaced by one so on the top is one and below here is sine x into cos x now distributive law i can write down one over sine x into one by cos x now one by sine x one by sine x is cosec x so that can be replaced by cosec x and one by cos x replaced by sec x sec x and this is equal to right hand side so i'm gonna write down right hand side and that's proved okay number 12 let's do 12 and then question number 12 says uh, sine x by sine x by cosec x minus cot x you can see that sin x over cosec x minus cot x is identical to 1 plus cos x again what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write down left hand side and left hand side is my sin x over cosec x minus cot x now this particular things are cosec x uh, cosec theta I can replace by 1 by sine theta and cot can be replaced by cos by sine theta. That's what I'm going to do. And then sine x over cosec can be replaced by 1 by sine x and cot can be replaced by cos x by sine x. Now what I'm going to do if I have sine x then this is going to be 1 minus cos x that's the numerator uh, denominator and on the top numerator is sin x now again division rule sin x times this sin x goes on the top and bottom here 1 minus cos x now from here this sin x denominator is 1 sin x sin x i can write down sin square x and then 1 minus cos x now if i look closely it's 1 plus cos x in the numerator and the in the denominator i have one minus cos x so i'm not that close but cos sine square x sine square x can be replaced by one minus cos square x that's what i'm gonna do one minus cos square x now one minus cos x again that can be written as a plus b a minus b since it's in the form of a square minus b square so that can be written as one plus cos x 1 minus cos x below here in the denominator 1 minus cos x this this cross out so i end up with 1 plus cos x it's a little lengthy but i'm there right hand side okay so that's 12. Uh, in next video i'll do 
uh, rest of them. Okay, thank you. Have a good night.